in this age, everybody was trained as a warrior and using weapons was something that everybody had to know. One of the things, of course, that, that's true of the Vikings is they didn't leave an account of their own activities. So it's very difficult for us to know how they, they functioned as warrior armies. One of the great sources, however, is Viking warrior burials. Because the Vikings believed when you've been buried, you should be buried with the goods that mattered to you in life. So a Viking warrior typically would be buried with the weapons which had served him well. One of the very common Viking weapons was the axe, for example, because it doesn't take that much metal to make an axe head. But that was a farm implement as well as being a weapon. Spears! The most common weapon that the Vikings had was the spear, and this is because it doesn't take very much iron to make a spear point. Swords are the weapons of the elite warriors, and that's what we find in the best burials. Of course, the sword was a more expensive product to make. It was comparatively scarce. Many of the best Viking swords that have come down to us are not made in the Viking homelands. They're made in the Rhineland, and they frequently are found in Viking graves, as are long spears and smaller javelins that they used. The Vikings also used archery, bows and arrows, for example. They used them for hunting as well as for fighting. They famously, of course, had shields which had an, a shield boss to protect a hand on it. And while the shield, which might be made of wood and leather, has long since perished, the boss survives in the grave. And one of the perceptions, likewise, of the Vikings is that they tended to be well armored and wear long coats of mail. But in the early Viking Age, that is clearly not the case insofar as we can tell. But their weaponry was, by contemporary standards, very sophisticated. Your father's return brings calamity. 